Champlin and I'm a senior VR designer at Epic Games and we're here at VRLA showing off Robo Recall and the Unreal Engine. Right now we're in our fourth iteration of the engine and we've made a bunch of changes to the engine to support VR including like doing forward rendering that allows us to do MSAA and several other changes to the engine that are better for VR. So one of the things we're showing at VRLA is our mod tools for Robo Recall. So in addition to releasing the game uh, in March of this year, we also released the full source of the game in the form of a mod kit. So what you can do as a user is you can look through all of our content and uh, dig through it and see how we did everything and then create your own stuff on top of that. So what Seth is doing right now is he's opened up the create mod button uh, within the editor here and he can select uh, something that he wants to modify. In this case, he's uh, selecting a, the, the revolver. So he's going to name his project. Then after the project is named, it creates a whole new directory structure and a blueprint for that thing that he wants to modify. So he's going to open up the revolver. And then from here, he can start modifying whatever he wants to. He can change the, the VFX that it uses. He can change the visual model. He can change the 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 projectile that it uses, the ammo capacity of the weapon, he could turn it into a flamethrower if he wanted to. So this is a really great way for someone who's interested in VR to kind of get started just seeing what we've done and playing around with the, the stuff that we have created for Robo Recall. And then once they've learned a little bit more about the engine, it kind of gives them the ability to start building their own projects and their own experiences. So now Seth's going to access the mod that he created from our hollow station, which is where the players go in the game to modify their weapons and start missions. And there's a tab on the right side called mods. Now he can actually load the mod that he has created. And have it, once it's selected, he can actually use that in game now. And at this point, he could package the mod up and send it to his friends in an email, and then they can double click on it. It installs it into their Robo Recall, and then they can start playing with what Seth created. For more information about Robo Recall or the engine, visit epicgames.com and there you'll find everything you need to get started. The engine's for free, so you can download it and start working in it immediately. All the documentation's there and has everything you need to get started. Thanks.